Good evening. A 53 year old Frog Lake area man is dead after a single vehicle rollover early this morning. Now it happened on Township 534 and Range Road 24 northeast of Mar Wayne. Kids got the RCMP say the victim was driving a truck hauling crude oil. Now it's not known if anything seeped from the truck. The man was pronounced dead at the scene. An autopsy has been requested and the cause of the crash is under investigation. No name has been released either. Meanwhile, a Cold Lake woman is one of two victims of a fatal head-on crash in Saskatchewan. It happened yesterday on Highway 39 east of Pasqua. Now the 26-year-old was killed along with the other driver, a 45-year-old man from the Nipawin area. The victim's names have not been released. Investigators say road conditions and visibility were good at the time and that both dry drivers were wearing seatbelts. Linemen Star RCMP are asking drivers to break those bad summer driving habits. This as the kids head back to school next week and police officers will be out reinforcing the 30 kilometers per hour school zone limits. Now RCMP Constable Sean Walker says parents can help keep their children safe by reminding them to check both ways before crossing the street and to use a marked crosswalk. The responsibility is certainly not only on the police services and on the school boards perhaps to teach our kids to make sure that they do stop but the parents are the first uh, and the last people that the kids see at the end of the day so if they can reinforce that just to be safe it makes our job easier. Tuesday is the first day of school for both school divisions in Lloydminster. Mounties will be out in full force ensuring drivers are abiding the speed limit. What this city doesn't want and what no parent wants or any school board or any police service or ambulance service is to have one child hurt um, it's very haunting for us and of course what we want is the best uh, the best school year for our kids. Mounties are also reminding drivers to stop for flashing lights on school buses. Now last year the Lloydminster RCMP charged 80 drivers for failing to do so. Meanwhile, summer vacation is over for student for some students rather in the Lakeland. Now the Lakeland Catholic School District opened its doors as students in Bonneville and Cold Lake headed back to class for the first time today. Clayton Brown has more. For many staff and students in the Lakeland, today marked the start of a new routine as the first day of classes began. Oh, it's been awesome. So much fun. A lot of nerves, a lot of excitement coming in. But, you know, you see those kids and it's all worthwhile and you're ready to go and they bring the excitement to you as soon as one of those kids smile and ask you a question and you're right into it. It is really great. I have a great classroom and I meet all my friends. Um, it was really exciting because I'm ha looking forward to having fun, lots and lots of fun with me and my friends. Today may be the first day of classes, but teachers have been hard at work for the last couple of weeks preparing for the big day. Getting the classroom ready, getting activities ready, talking about that first day of school and, and how exciting it is. Getting ready and re-energized and back into the frame of mind for teaching. Enrollment within the Catholic School District has gone up, meaning a little restructuring throughout the year may be needed. We're keeping a close eye on numbers. Uh, we have some classrooms that are getting pretty full and we'll just make plans from there as, as the enrollments keep coming in. RCMP are reminding motorists school zones are again in effect. In Bonneville, Clayton Brown, New Cap News.